righty, welcome back. Let's get things rolling after this morning. A busy morning here across the region. So for now, the snow is backing off after we got a little bit more last night or early this morning and also yesterday as well. The road's a little bit icy in some parts of the region, including downtown Rhinelander. That road conditions map showing a lot of light blue on this map, which means slippery stretches are being reported. In the pink shaded areas, though, snow or ice covered roads have also been reported. So definitely encourage you to take it slow and allow extra time to get to where you're going after this morning. And of course, allow some extra time to clear off your vehicles as well from the snow that fell yesterday and in the parts of last night. We have advisories that are posted, though. Winter storm watches in the blue here, especially across parts of the UP as well, lasting through parts of Saturday for accumulating snow that will be possible in some areas that could cause some issues as well and some gusty winds. We have winter storm warnings in southwestern Wisconsin already as well. Lake effect and lake enhanced snow will be possible in the UP and especially near parts of Lake Superior. But here's the snow right now, tracking from the west and going toward the east as we push this east, so our focus then turns toward our next system now that's going to be approaching right about in here, tracking to a little bit to the south and east and a little bit to the north and east as well. That's what's going to be giving us the snow and the gusty winds that will be coming up as early as tomorrow. So here we go. So we're going to push this thing further off towards the east, a few flurries possible today and also in the parts of tonight as well. And then by the time we get towards Friday morning, especially by around 8 or 9 o'clock, we'll start seeing this moving in, even by 10 o'clock as well. From the south going to the north, gusty winds up to 40 miles per hour will be possible with this thing as well. Notice this pressure gradient getting stacked and notice all the heavier snowfall in the eastern parts of the state, the southern parts of the state, and even in the parts of Illinois as well. And even in the parts of the UP where they will be seeing not only the snow from the system, but also some lake effect and lake enhanced snow too. We'll start to see a back off a bit as we head towards Saturday, but still some strong winds possible and a few snow showers and lake effect snow showers too. We'll become, we will become mainly lake effect snow showers as we head towards your Sunday, but still some strong winds possible from time to time. Here Here's our first general idea here. Expect us to change a bit as we get closer in the white shade. One to three inches of snow possible before we're all finished up. Anywhere you see blue, that means three to six inches of snow will be possible before this backs off. In the pink shaded areas, early indications show around six to perhaps ten inches in a few spots before it backs off. Then anywhere you see red, that's the general idea where ten inches or more are possible courtesy of the lake enhanced and lake effect snow. First general idea, I do expect some changes to take place with this map as we get closer, but this is our first general idea of what we're expecting with the system Friday into Saturday. Not a whole lot up here near the Rhinelander area, but a little bit more as yet further down to the south and to the east and also in the parts of the UP. But temperatures right now are in the upper teens in Phillips, lower 20s in the north woods. We also have middle 20s in Tomahawk and also some middle 20s further down to the south as our average high temperature is 23 degrees, upper 20s today and tomorrow. Middle teens as we head towards your Saturday. Notice though, we get even colder though starting Sunday and beyond. Single digits in not, in, in so even zero degrees so by Monday so 15 degrees Saturday, 3 degrees Sunday, 0 degrees Monday, and then single digits Tuesday and Wednesday. That will help to get some ice going on the area lakes. So upper 20s today, mostly cloudy, some snow flurries out there. And that south wind getting up to about 5 miles per hour today. By tonight, here we go, 16 degrees, mostly cloudy, more snow flurries on the way. And the east wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Northwoods furniture and mattress, 7 day forecast. All right, so flurries today and tonight. The snow gets going Friday morning, continuing through the afternoon and evening time frame, and also in the parts of Saturday. Lake effect snow possible by Sunday, especially in the north woods. The notice we're dry next week, but notice we're really cooling off. Highs in the single digits, if not zero degrees by Monday, and lows well below zero.